Anyone who travels to the city of Toledo will hear about the Virgin of Alfileritos, especially girls who want to stop being single. The Virgin of Alfileritos recites the request of those who are looking for love. The story goes back many centuries ago and tells how Doña Soledad de Vargas prayed during years waiting for the return of her lover, Don García de Ocaña. Summarizing a little bit, a little the story, Soledad was desperate because her lover didn't come back from war, and every night she prayed to the Virgin of the, of the Dolores. She usually felt asleep while praying, so she taught her servant to be woken up by poking her with a pin. Then she threw all the pins to the Dolorosa as an offer. Finally, her lover returned from war and married him. This is why many single girls throw a, throw a, throw a pin to the Virgin. It's amazing to see the amount of pins that there are. Because of this, it is one of the most visited places of Toledo. Zugarramurdi is a village situated in the north of Spain. A long time ago, witches lived in the village. At night, they went to the caves, and they did rituals. People were afraid, because they thought that the witches were doing bad and dangerous things. So they took them, and after a trial, the witches were burned to death. Something that strikes most tourists in Spain is our eating timetable. We usually take our main meal, lunch, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We are used to eating our meal with bread, while we watch and see the news at the same time. We take our next meal around 10 or, ele or even 11 o'clock at night, a very rare thing. But we have got a very healthy diet which is known as Mediterranean diet. The nap is a very rooted habit in our country. It consists of resting for some minutes between 10 and 30, but can last up to a couple of hours after lunch, and ganging in a short sleep in order to gather energy for the rest of the day. To sing the Aguinaldo is an old Spanish tradition. At Christmas, People used to go from house to house, knocking at the door and singing carols, asking for some money after each performance. Each year on the 23rd of June, Midsummer Night's Eve, this ritual takes place in the town of San Pedro Manrique in Soria. It consists of crossing the live coals of a meticulously prepared bonfire barefoot. The bonfire is lit at, nine, at night with 2,000 kilos of oak wood, which burns easily and does not form lamps. At around half past 11, the carpet-like path of red hot coals is prepared by smoothing them with, with poles called honeros. Young men dance around the fire and exactly at midnight everything is ready to begin the walk across the carpet. 10 to 12 young men are chosen to do this and they generally carry someone on their shoulders since the extra weight of its combustion. They try to ensure that the coals contain no ashes or hard objects. Thanks to these precautions they never get burned. Women dressed in white called mondidas, carrying wicker baskets along bread sticks, arbujuelos, walk in a procession. One of them, the most important one, offers the first arbujuelo to the priest. According to some, these women represent ancient Celtiberian priestesses. There is a superstition about cravings. If a woman is pregnant and has a craving for some food, her husband should try to get it and give it to her. Otherwise, the baby will have a birthmark with the shape of that food.
This is a story about Isabel and Diego is from the 13th century. Isabel's family was very rich, and because of that, Diego needed to be wealthy so he could be allowed to marry her. Isabel's father gave Diego a period of five years to gain fortune. So Diego became a soldier in the Christian army against the Muslims, promising that he would return being rich. Meanwhile, Isabel was waiting in Terrell, rejecting all the marriage proposals from nobility. The deadline was over and there were no news from Diego, so after who after too much waiting, Isabel had to get married. Unfortunately, Diego came back the next day being rich. When he knew that her beloved had married another man, he asked her for a last kiss. Since she was now a married woman, she refused, and Diego instantly died of pain. In the funeral, Isabel went to see the body of her beloved and gave him the kiss that she had refused when he was alive. Right afterward, she died of sorrow next to him. The lovers were buried together in San Pedro's church in Terrell. Mengoyo, a small village in Asturias, became a ghost village in 1854. April 1854, after the usual three months isolation because of the snow, a local priest went to visit the village, but he found nothing but silence in the streets. He discovered that everybody was dead, without any signs of violence. There are many theories about what happened. Most of them say that it was because of food poisoning, and nobody has ever lived there since then. The story is still a mystery, the mystery of the ghost town.